Hello. Welcome to the goods. I know that you have been looking at us wearing our Fly Goods podcast gear and wondering where can we get those. Well, guess what? We have the answers for you. We have it here, Teespring. Go to Teespring and you will find all of this glorious merchandising from t-shirts to mugs to, well, there's other toys, but we can't talk about that now. Go to Teespring. Enjoy our memorabilia. No substance. So today's top five is the top five international foreign language films yes. with Parasite making history at the Oscars, winning uh, Best Picture and Best International Film. We thought we'd highlight best foreign language films of all time to us. Yes. Now, granted, you know, a lot. <laughs> there you know, a lot of we're, we're 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 minorities. We're different. We're, yes. We have different cultures. You and I, right? right? But we can appreciate a damn good foreign language film, no matter what, as long as it's a damn good movie. Yes, right? of course. So, Terrence, go first. And you got to be a damn good movie if you're gonna make me sit there and read subtitles. Yeah, I mean, because I, I would normally just wait for the dub to come out. I, I fall asleep. <laughs> I fall asleep on read. Right. If I don't read, I just get the book. <laughs> Just read that and... Exactly. Because sometimes you're like reading the subtitles, you're not even paying attention to the movie because you're just trying to keep up, especially if it's like a whole big conversation. You're like, you ain't reading. reading. <laughs> you're doing that the whole time. You can't enjoy the movie that way. But anyway, so these are the movies that we felt like were enjoyable, even though we had to read them. Uh, I tried to stay away from a lot of martial arts. I tried to stay away from a lot of... Uh, I have not. Uh, a lot of I will horror. Not. I will not. Uh, because <laughs> those would have just dominated the list. So I wanted to give some spotlight to some other things. Not, that that's are, not bad. Yeah, so. You do things. what you. All right, okay, so. Number five. Number five. Speaking of Parasite, it is my number five. Number five is Parasite. It's, okay. it's a really, really good movie. Uh, it's very well acted. And mm -hmm. the premise, because I, I didn't even get to see it when it first came out. It took me a little while to get around to seeing it. But the even with people, with you knowing the premise of the film, it's just so awesome the way it kind of unfolded. How like they were, spoiler, I'm not gonna get too into spoilers, but like how they kind of got each other into the home, uh, trying to work just so that way they can experience this other family's life, kind of mm -hmm. live through them. I, I guess the parasite portion is that they're kind of living off of these people. Mm -hmm. uh, but the movie is really, really great. The ending is one of those foreign film cliffhanger endings where like, ah, you couldn't just wrap this up. But it was still satisfying enough to where I was just like, oh, okay. It was but, it caught you off guard though. You yeah, didn't it expect did. some of that. So. It, I, I didn't. I, I still don't. I still disagree with one of the with the the outcome or one of the ending scenes of it. I disagree that the issue didn't went that way because if they would have just been like, oh my god, they would all have not even gone to jail. Okay. Oops. Spoiler. Number four. Number four. <laughs> Number four. <laughs> didn't mean to let that one slip. You didn't hear it. Uh, old dog. Old dog. Oh, I'm sorry, I said old dog. I'm sorry. Old man. Um, old boy. Jeez. Old boy. You know why I said old dog? Because for some particular reason, I wrote old dog. Old boy is what I meant to say. <laughs> <laughs> and that's how much of a schmuck I am. I read what I wrote knowing that it was wrong. Anyway, old boy. I know we had an English language. Uh, we had an American version of it with uh, with Thanos himself and, and Sam Jack in it. Uh, but that was really directed a, by Spike Lee. Directed by Spike Lee. It was really a watered down version of the original one. The original one is like so. I mean, you're really into it. You feel like the the seclusion that he has, mm -hmm. uh, all of the pent up rage he gets when he's out, and it is also the. Uh, it's the beginning of the hallway fight scene that all movies now rep, uh, kinda recreate. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I know that everybody says that, you know, they get it from Ray. Technically they get it from Old Boy, because Ray got it from Old Boy. And they even say in Ray, we got it from Old Boy. So that's where that kinda the the it's very violent film, it's very it's very dark. But it's execution got, counts no matter yes, what, whether yes. they got it from that or not. Yes, definitely. Uh they origi old boy originated, Ray did it better. But oh boy, just like with hammers and stuff like that, and him beating up the the yakuza or yakuza, or however you want to say it, uh, beating them up in the hallway, trying to get there. That that's such an intense scene. Uh, also, to just to just how the twist ending uh, will make you be like, whoa, yeah, <laughs> Japanese. Anyway, <laughs> number three. Number three. Uh, number three was a Spanish film, Guillermo del Toro's Pan's Labyrinth. Pan's Labyrinth. This is great a makeup. Great makeup, awesome little premise, and it was like you're following along, and it's a it's it's a movie where 
you you just kind of along for the journey of this one little child. It's Alice in Wonderland, but with scarier creatures. That's uh, a very good comparison. Yeah, it's uh, because she goes on this journey trying to get away from her current life, and it takes place during the war. Uh, I mean, it's a really really great film. Uh, I don't know if they made an English link. I don't know if they dubbed it in English yet. But if you are like we were when we saw this movie, can sit through sub subtitles. Which, by I will say that there's enough going on here. There's not a whole bunch of subtitles that are going on at the same time, so you can really sit and enjoy what's on screen and the whole uh, taking the moment is what I want to say. Absolutely. Right. Uh, number two! Number two! All right, so here's when we get a little bit action-y because uh, this is one of my, this is probably one of the first foreign films that I actually saw that I was like, I'm going to watch it even though it's foreign. Mm -hmm. uh, it's Even though it's the, it's going to be subtitled, it's Hard Boil with Cha Young Fat. Yeah, great movie. I love that movie so much. It's, uh, what it was, he was the Hard Boil Cop. And it was like, he just, and, and this was gun, this was my introduction to gun food. Gun it was, food it was like, not Matrix. This movie was the like, killer? this was, I watched this before I watched The Killer. Okay. I watched this before I watched The Killer and uh, there was another one that he did uh, where he's a hitman. Uh, but this was my first introduction to him and to John Woo. Uh, this was like the coming of everything all together. This is kind of where it birthed when we talk Never about- Never seen it. Where, uh, <laughs> when we talk about like, uh, you know, up and coming actors being in horror films and stuff like that and directors, uh, uh, well-known directors directing horror films. Mm -hmm. Look, you had John Woo, you had Chow Yun-Fat. This movie, like, they both shined in the, together in this movie. If you like action uh, cops and robbers films, but you do love the gun fu as well, dude, watch this movie. He did a lot of them before he came over and started doing stuff like Crouch and Tiger, Hidden Dragon. Uh, in that aspect, start with this. This is a great film. Okay. All right. Number one. Number one. The number yes. one. The Professional. The Professional with John Reno? Yeah. That's a good movie. That is a great movie with a... Uh, Natalie Portman. Yes. You with, know, 13-year-old Natalie Portman. That is a great movie where he is a hitman and he's going, he, you know, kind of become surrogate dad to this girl and uh, she's watching him he's taking her on hits she wants to be a hitman just like it was like you, Mandalorian it, it's the Mandalorian <laughs> it's, uh, wow we never made that reference when we were talking about the Mandalorian it's the Mandalorian um, <laughs> the Mandalorian before the Mandalorian the Mandalorian is the professional um, and it's, uh, it's you feel their connection uh, between the two and you feel her love for him looking at him as a father figure for her and uh, when, you know, spoiler alert, I mean, the movie's super old when he dies and it's like, dude, watch this film. Um, this is, this and Godzilla are the only two films that I've ever seen him in. John Reno? Yeah. He's done a lot. Yeah, John Reno's done a lot got, of movies. He's got an illustrious career, as yes. they would say. But I've only seen him in two films. It was this one and then the 1995 <laughs> And Godzilla. you don't hate Godzilla 98. <laughs> Oh, 98, I'm sorry. The 1998, guys, those are the only two films I've ever seen him in, but this movie <laughs> is a great film. If you like Hitman movies, uh, that's that's the, that's the first one you should definitely see. That, absolutely. I agree with 100% with that one. All right, my number five! My number five. It starts with Pan's Labyrinth! Pan's Labyrinth, all right. Absolutely. Now, you say Alice in Wonderland. That's very good, good comparison. I'd throw a little Oz in there. Okay. A little Oz in there, dark. It, it almost looks like Tim Burton directed it <laughs> at certain times. Uh, but yeah. you, you see the magic of Guillermo del Toro's, um, his vision, his execution of his vision in this movie. And then you have great actors uh, as far as like, you know, Doug Jones is in this, you know, so you see these uh, 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 great actors going and, and performing and all this heavy makeup and all that. It's freaking phenomenal. Yes, the, the subtitles can get in the way every now and again, but it doesn't matter. I mean, just a dude like this is yeah. freaking awesome. I mean, you just know, that's the creature whole, design. The creature designs yeah, are man. awesome in that movie. You got to check that out. Number four yeah. is The Raid. It's The Raid. Or uh, Dread <laughs> with Asian people. <laughs> It's Asian Dread. Asian Dread. Or but, Dread, Dread is English, is uh, American yeah. Dread. Man, <laughs> that movie is absolutely phenomenal. It is. I love that movie. And you know, to be honest with you, I almost want to throw like the raid slash the raid two because the, the the kitchen fight scene in the raid two was just one of the best, one of the one of the best shot martial arts choreography I have ever seen on film ever. And you wanted a, you know, one of the shows we talked about your the continuous shot in 1917. Mm -hmm. There is a continuous shot in in this in in this film too, yeah. and in the raid two. And it is just phenomenal. But it all started with the raid, and uh, yeah, absolutely yeah. amazing. I mean, film. like I said, it it check up, it out. Upgraded hallway fight scenes to the. I mean, now everybody. I mean, Daredevil tried to do it. They tried to. Uh, John Wick. John Wick tried to do it. Yeah, so it, yeah, in a little knife fight thing. Yeah, so, yeah exactly. it was awesome. So, all right, number three. Number three. I, 
you know, there's not a lot of people that you've seen this movie because we've talked about it before, but not a lot of people really know this movie, and that's the orphanage. Yes, I have seen the orphanage. That is a really spooky yes. and bittersweet movie. Yes. It is very good, very well acted. Again, with Guillermo del Toro, he actually uh, executive produced it or produced this movie. Yeah. And, this all uh, falls under his, uh, his uh, I'm going to say library, but his. Uh, Filmography. Yeah, filmography. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but it is, it's a damn good movie. And it is, uh, like I said, it, it is a Spanish film. Um, but it, there's some pretty creepy ass scenes in this movie. And I just absolutely love the ending. It's really, really, uh, uh, you just don't know whether you want to be happy or cry, right. honestly, with that, with that ending. But uh, if you have not seen it, please check out The Orphanage. It is a hell of a movie. Number two! Number two! Number two is Parasite! Parasite, <laughs> so high. That's right. You it love is high. I love this movie. I th I thought that it was, and, and you know what? I, I did my Oscar ballot. Mm -hmm. I sucked at it. But the one upset <laughs> that I got right it was Parasite. Was Parasite as best picture. It is, Everybody it had 1917. Everybody was on Sa Sam Mendes' nuts. I was not. I, I was on the nuts of a guy named Bong. Uh, 1917. I was on the nuts of a guy named Bong. That's an interesting. That's the freaking <laughs> shit right there. So I'm going Parasite all day. Uh, you know, you get this. Um, you kind of see a uh, the, how the rich see the poor. Yes, and and it is it is really eye opening. And and if you're rich, I mean, it sucks that you're gonna see what you really look like if you're that way. Yeah. But uh, but when you when you see the opportunities that these, these that this family does uh, to to get into the home and and the con that they, which this can actually even be a con artist movie it could, if be, you, it yeah. could be a con artist movie but uh to the lengths that they do they go through which you think that if they had that type of intelligence and that type of will to do go through all this that they'd actually not be poor <laughs> because they're highly intelligent yeah especially the especially highly. the son is like from the fact that they uh, they're about to lose their pizza folding box job and he like worked that out like yes. in seconds he was amazing yeah it was like that dude just like you're wasting your time doing this man just go and do something with yes your mind, absolutely man. but regardless uh yeah. very well acted just like t said great direction um some pretty damn good uh cinematography and there are some eerie scenes in this actually uh there is the the spot where the the, the husband's coming out he's the, the husband in the basement is coming out and it is freaking that was some, ugh, freaking you know, sight on that you know what i found out recently is that they cgi the whole outside of the house like that long oh, did they? yeah that's not even the house there it's that, that it's just a green screen it's it's oh the, wow the whole lawn screen scene was like that's not even them that's that's not even the house i was like oh it's cool i, I didn't know that there was even well there CGI. you go that's even some good cgi in a movie exactly <laughs> they, even though there i mean there you go you got freaking the guy named bong that's doing <laughs> great on that yes. uh but either way well-deserved oscar three of them actually yeah well-deserved gotta go check out it's parasite if you have really not seen it all right my number one number one my number one is Passion of the Christ! Passion of the Christ. You cannot beat Jesus! You can never go wrong with Jesus. You can't go wrong with Jesus, and you can't go wrong with Mel Gibson. Damn it! He knows story structure. <laughs> Damn it! Jesus is number one in my book. That's right. <laughs> and number one in your list. But you got Jim, <laughs> you know, you got Jim Caviezel in the and his iconic role uh, of, of, uh, of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, and uh, but the brutality of the movie, and they yeah, are that's... speaking Arabic, and uh, you know um, Mel Gibson really wanted to to highlight the Bible even in, in its brutality and every aspect of truth that the Bible gives you. Uh, to a certain degree, I mean, I know there's some people that are some skeptics that say that he, you know, this is wrong and so forth, and that's fine. But how he, in his vision, delivered it, I mean, it, it, he just did a phenomenal freaking job. You never would expect that from Mel Gibson, but damn it, he yeah. did such a good job directing this movie. Uh, and Caviezel was just phenomenal. Some brutal scenes, it'll guilt you into being nice to people, trust me. <laughs> but uh, absolutely you know. phenomenal, phenomenal Roots movie. Roots doesn't guilt anybody. Anything, and for a well, long you know, time. Beating up Jesus, guilt you in every time. For, <laughs> for a long time, this was the number one R rated film of all time until yeah. Deadpool came along. But regardless, Check out Passion of the Christ. Yes, definitely. Honorable mentions. Oh God, there are so many, so many. Uh, I'm gonna touch on the ones that maybe you didn't put in your list. Go ahead. Um, so uh, 
Uh, Infernal Affairs, I wanted to put that one in there for art because Internal he- Internal Affairs. It's Infernal Affairs. It's Internal Affairs. I just watched the movie today. They, they mistyped it. I, it's it's, in, it's <laughs> Infernal Affairs. I look it's at it. I, I will look affairs. it up and I will put the cover on the screen right now. Yeah. That's wrong. I was that right. Wrong. I was right. I know I'm right because I just watched the movie. I watched the movie this afternoon. Okay. Amigo. Anyway. All right. Um, I, I wanted to, like I said, I want to get into a bunch of martial arts. Uh, police story. Uh, obviously, Police Story Three, Super Cop was was it was released over here as um, Audition, which is a great Japanese horror film. Uh, I saw the cover art on that. Dude, that movie is so it creepy is and very so sadistic brutal. and just like oh god. Uh, I think uh, La Femme Nikita. Which they they remade over here uh, like point of return. yeah no point uh, the, the point, point of, of return, return with yeah. Bridget Fonda yeah they remade that movie over here like yeah, seventeen the was great. yeah they, a whole bunch of time uh uh do 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 that's a police story that's a good pick actually yeah Damn it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. I, I floated right. with that one in there, and um, I, I did both one, Raiden one, one and two, and uh, obviously my favorite is Brotherhood of Wolf. I don't know why I didn't put it in my list. This why time. would you, as many <laughs> times as we would watch that yes. damn movie, I don't why, know why would you because not put that movie? I wanted to give some other people, and these are five good movies, Parasite. But was, a lot of people have not seen Brotherhood of the Parasite Wolf. Parasite is what kept Brotherhood of the Wolf out. Oh, okay, well, <laughs> guy named Bong. All right, my honorable mention start with uh, Ipmon. I thought about that one. One and two, damn I, it. Donnie Yen is absolutely awesome in that I, movie. I thought about that one. I, I love the martial arts choreography yes. and that was absolutely amazing. So I freaking love uh, Ip Man. Didn't get off to Ip Man 3 that much, even though Tyson was in it. I, 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 I could not really I like... only watched one and two. I never made it past Yeah, it. I couldn't get into it. Uh, Juwan, Ringu, you yes. know, the, the Grudge and the Ring, the originals, those were good. Uh, Itumama Tambien. That's very interesting. That's a... That's a Nice little three-way they're going on uh, Itumama Tambien. <laughs> but uh, yeah, check it out. It's uh, pretty pretty interesting. Yes, check it out. <laughs> uh, now, Terrence brought one up that I have never seen, but I have spoken to a lot of people about this movie and it makes me want to watch the movie, but I just haven't had time. And that's like Water for Chocolate. Mm -hmm. If you guys have not gotten a chance, and that is a very sexy and romantic film that you really do want to watch. Maybe back Valentine's the, Day, hey! Maybe Valentine's Day or whatever, but uh, check out like Water for Chocolate. Yeah, back in the day when we worked in video stores. Yes, like, that I just like read cover boxes. Number one rented film next to Pink Floyd, The Wall. Yes, it was. <laughs> um, the Killer. Oh yeah, The Killer. Gotta go with The yeah. Killer. You got some John Woo in there. Yeah. Uh, oh God. There was another movie I was thinking of, but uh, where his face was like he the Joker smile. He got like uh, uh, Ichi, Ichi something. Ichi Scratchy? Yeah. All right. Ichi Scratchy. Uh... <laughs> Ichi Scratchy. It was called Ichi. No, it was Ichi the Killer. Uh, his face is slit right here, like uh -huh. the Joker, uh -huh. and it's like stitched. And uh, but he was like this crazed psychopath, like oh, wow. hitman. Uh, but yeah, it's it's really intense. All right. And um, <laughs> well, I was gonna say Snatch because you don't understand what the hell Brad Pitt's saying. Oh, I love that movie. That's why I said it's No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> uh, every Godzilla movie that's not dubbed. <laughs> yes, every uh, non-dubbed Godzilla film. That was a funny one when I was looking at that. I was like, what? I mean, it is foreign language. That's right, Godzilla films, baby. Every Bruce Lee movie, every martial arts movie ever what? made. Your favorite? Have we done? We haven't done a top five Godzilla films. We have not done Godzilla. How have we not done that? We will do that next. That is actually pretty cool. That's coming up. I was thinking, I was like, what is my favorite? I think Final Wars is probably my favorite one. And my last one is um, Star Wars, because I don't know what Wookiee language is. <laughs> I don't know what Jawas are saying. It would count if they. <laughs> yeah, you're right. It's a foreign language. You're There's right. no subtitles, but I mean, Jawas, Wookiees, Jabba. Yeah, everybody speaks another language. So yeah. yeah. So Star Wars it's trilogy. It's an, <laughs> it's an argument to be made about it. It's an argument. Put your to comments be below and let us know what you think. Is Star Wars a foreign film? Because you know you don't know what the hell they're saying. Maybe a little bit. Maybe a little, maybe bit. A little bit. Terry, take us home. All right. So uh, yeah, definitely put your top five in the list below. You know, we gave you a lot to choose from. Uh, this was kind of a broad topic. So I mean, your list is gonna probably include a bunch of ones that we didn't include. Hell, all of our all of our honorable mentions can make up two or three different lists. Uh, also, too. I'm sorry. I was was burping. <laughs> I apologize for that. I don't know if I'm going to cut that out. But anyway, so uh, if this is the first time that you're on the channel, make sure you, uh, <laughs> you subscribe as well as click the notification button so that way you're aware of all the other videos that we do on the channel uh, as well as make sure you go to our Patreon at patreon.com forward slash the goods so that way you can get uh, help us grow the channel. Uh, I would say that one of our shirts, this one is soon to come up on the Teespring website uh, whenever I get around to doing it. 
Uh, so when you see me wearing a shirt, this is actually one of our shirts. I just have not put it up for sale yet. So it can be an exclusive when it comes out. You guys can get it first. Yeah, and I I work here and I, I don't even have, have that shirt. shirt. So I, I don't even have that shirt. He but actually anyway. does. He has one that says uh, all, all flash. All flash, that's right. Yeah. <laughs> that's basically how it, no, I'd be the other way around. Okay. <laughs> All right, either way, uh, it was a pretty interesting top five. You know what? We've never really done foreign films because we're like so to the norm of everything that's, you know, that's out there in pop culture, but we never ever really uh, paid attention to international foreign films. So please, just like uh, Bong, the guy named Bong says, Look at the, look at the subtitles. You're gonna miss if you if you uh, miss out on the subtitles. You're gonna miss out on some good movies. That's yes, what he said. Something, so something like that. Yeah, something don't like that. don't be discouraged by the fact. Exactly. That I that's yeah. what I was trying to say. All right. Anyway, for uh, Aspen in college and art, trying to look at some foreign language. I think it's hentai. He's trying to watch. Yeah, I don't hey, know. it's my favorite. Um, <laughs> I'm Manny. <laughs> I'm Terrence. <laughs> we'll see you next time. Real quick, uh, if you're still here, <laughs> if you're still here, because we do these in the end of the video little blooper things. <laughs> If you're still here, look down, look down. There's a link here for Patreon. If you guys like the show, please give us money. Give us money. We'll take a penny. We'll take a nickel. We'll take a dime. We'll take a dollar. We have some stuff on there that we're giving away on Patreon if you do contribute because trust me, we need help. We need help. We want to buy new equipment and we need an editor. Somebody who doesn't have to stay up in the middle of the night. Or they don't have to stay up in the middle of the night, but I won't have to do it. So please, down patreon.com forward slash the goods. It's in the link. Please do it. We appreciate it. Top flight.